My son Michael was diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder back in 2005 uh, when he was entering kindergarten. I died in a truck wreck down at the bottom of the hill where the ramp comes on to, uh, where the ramp comes back onto Route 4. So I was in a coma for the first two days. I had a, I had a tough time. I, I went through a bunch of rehabilitation programs and I had a, I had a tough time. I had the grand mal stroke in January of 2005. If you've been independent all your life, when it's taken away from me, you feel like nothing. It's, it's a lonely journey sometimes. People don't realize the loneliness because you know we all just want our kids to fit in. We want them to have friends. The struggle he faces, and we've known it for a long time, and it's always been a concern for me. If he writes too long, he just gets very tired, and then he gets frustrated and he shuts down, and then it turns into a meltdown. When I was down at the lending library at Goodwill Easter Seals, I noticed that they had some electronics in a cabinet. And I'm like, well, what's that? And I asked Diana, and she told me, she said it was an Alpha Smart. I think this might help, even if it's just to work on his spelling Seriously. words. Next one. Without think, Easter yeah. Seals, I wouldn't have that. They have been a godsend. They have been such a wonderful place for me to go when I had an idea, but I didn't have the resources to obtain and work on my ideas with my son. You know, when I was at Miami Valley Hospital, I'd go to a bunch of rehabilitation programs where they put me on a traction machine. And uh, um, it was kind of tough because uh, after all the traction stuff, I found myself trying to walk straight and I'd veer to the left all the time. If I took a drink of something, I constantly wouldn't hit my mouth. It would tip and it would spill on me. I felt strange and I felt weird. I didn't feel like I was right. BVR, Bureau of Vocational Rehabilitation, uh, sent me to Goodwill's rehabilitation program, and they took care of me. They, I'm, I'm here to tell you, Goodwill got me back on my feet. That's what, that's what did it. And not just, I'm not just talking about one person, I'm talking about the entire, all the people in this building. They, they put out their hands for you, and they, when I used to walk down the main hallway down here, they would come up to me, people that I didn't even know, and they'd say, how you doing today, Vic? They cared about me. They asked me how I was. They didn't know me from Adam. I still have the memory problem that I have to deal with. And I think the people in this building, they know I have that problem and they work with me. If it wasn't here, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in. I might be stuck at home in a bed somewhere, crippled the rest of my life because of it. Shalom has been a big help to me with their friendship, with their kindness, with their encouragement and with the programs they have here. If Shallow House wasn't here, I think a lot of them would be in a nursing facility. There is a lot of us that have dementia or have shortcomings of thinking power that need some guidance. And if they're left alone, they don't get that and the condition just seem to worsen. Arts and Craft does a lot for not only me, but for any participant that participate in it because it strengthens your mind, it strengthens your flexibility. I didn't know that I needed any help. When they suggested coming to Shallow House, I think I got very angry. But since being here at Shallow House, I've enjoyed it. And there was a need for me to come here. If you don't have somebody like Goodwill helping these people, they would give up because it's a challenge for them to go into work every day and for them to try to learn again everything that they knew before. And Goodwill can do that, and they do do that. One person at a time, one child at a time, one dollar at a time. 
Without the computers, without the resources that they provide, Michael wouldn't be where he is today. I watch these people come through this building and go through our programs, and when they do, they're, they feel like they're nothing when they get here, and they feel like they're something when they leave. And that's every program we have, it's not just one. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. You all, all of you who've donated to Goodwill, all of you who have bought from Goodwill, you helped me get better. You helped me get stronger. God bless you. Thank you very much.